the fundamental difference between accelerator and accelerated computing is accelerated computing is programmable. Accelerators, they are configurable. They're either pro programmable in a very, very specific set of algorithms. For example, an accelerator is like a DVD decoder. That's an accelerator. An Ethernet chip is an accelerator. An Ethernet chip never becomes a DVD decoder, and a DVD decoder never becomes a, you know, never becomes a GPU. And our GPUs, because of CUDA, is both an acceleration platform for many domains of applications, from image processing to particle physics to, you know, quantum. Uh, you, you, you've probably seen that we we um, uh, announced uh, uh, recently uh, some work that we've been doing in quantum. We're doing incredible work in quantum computing uh, as a quantum emulator, all the way to an intelligence emulator. We call them uh, artificial intelligence. And so our platform is programmable. And also because we had the discipline of ensuring our entire install base of GPUs are CUDA compatible. Every new algorithm that is developed on any of our GPUs will run on all of our GPUs. And that gives the developers reach while it gives the new developers the uh, capability to solve problems they couldn't solve before. And so simultaneously, we can solve new algorithms like transformers that came along and multimodality transformers and new algorithms like SSMs and, you know, all kinds of buzzwords that most people haven't heard about. Um, we have 100% confidence they all work on CUDA. We have 100% confidence they all work on NVIDIA GPUs. And once they work on NVIDIA GPUs, because our install base is so large, millions of GPUs in the cloud, we're in every single data center everywhere. We could therefore take that innovation and benefit everybody. Maybe the performance is not as fast as our latest generation, but it works on everybody's. Hmm. That is just a, a wonderful benefit. And you were asking about inference. The goal of inference is application reach. The goal of inference is application reach. It's no different than the goal of writing an application for a mobile device is application reach. You, you, you prefer a phone with the largest install base. It is fundamentally the reason why Apple is so successful. In our case, inference, anybody who's developing an application to run inference is going to prefer NVIDIA first. And the reason for that is because the CUDA install base is so large. It is the only acceleration platform that has a giant install base. It is in every single cloud. It is growing incredibly fast. And it's available on-prem or in the cloud. It's available all the way out to the edge for robotic systems. And so this architecture being so pervasive and because we have the discipline of protecting it and maintaining it for 30 years, this architecture is now literally everywhere. Mm. And if you are somebody who is developing an application for inference, targeting NVIDIA gives you the largest possible reach.